Greetings travelers, welcome back to House DM. Today I'm going to be going over both of my Dungeon Master kits. Also hello to all my new subscribers, welcome to the channel. It doesn't happen very often, but I do enjoy engaging in conversation in the comments. So if you want to say hi, I look forward to connecting with you there. So I have two kits that I use to run my D&D sessions. I have a minimalist one and I have my main one. The reason I have a minimalist kit is because I used to be an outdoor educator and I would also run D&D after school programs about twice a week. And once an outdoor educator, always an outdoor educator. Hashtag birds are tight. If you know, you know. When I would run D&D for this after school program, I needed a smaller and more compact kit that I could just throw in my bag and it just had everything I needed to run the game. It also needed to be fairly durable because kits. Now I'm going to show you both this minimalist kit that I used when I was an outdoor educator and my current minimalist kit and they're definitely not the same now at this point. It looked a little bit like this. You've probably seen these mats before. This is just a chess X battle mat rolls out fairly easily. You can use wet erase markers on there and that's actually what's in this small little kit here. Got a microfiber towel, two wet erase markers. Just, you can literally draw with anything like this onto these mats, a little spit, <laughs> and it would just wipe right off. Um, let's just empty this all out here. There we go. Uh, this is a bag of tokens. Now these backgammon pieces are what I would use as miniatures for my players. Same thing with the uh, wet erase markers on the uh, canvas mat. You can also use this. Actually, I think this is vinyl. I'm pretty sure it's like a vinyl mat. You could just write names on these tokens and that's how you would place them. They're perfect size to fit in a one inch square, which at the time I used a grid Especially with students, you know, it's easier to just mark it out on a grid. So there's your characters. You've got a standard D20 set, a big D20. Um, oftentimes, I would like set this up as a timer, or just it was easier to view, or it would be a big mo uh, boss monster. Easy to be like, hey, <laughs> this monster is uh, the big boss, and they have ten hit points or they can take 10 hits, so to speak. This was uh, super helpful to have. Um, here's all the tokens I used. You'll see there's like black marbles, red little tokens, and gold ones. Typically I would use these red ones to mark enemies. Sometimes I'd use the black ones if it was a different type of enemy. Uh, the gold ones were mainly used as points of interest um, or treasure. So when I would lay these out on the map, that would get people excited because they know that this is either a magic item or a potion along those lines. And then this is like an agate. I have a ton of these little smooth agates in this bag and I would kind of use them for the same purpose as treasure. These were a, a newer addition once I started collecting agates. Um, but yeah, any sort of shiny thing will work to mark that. You don't need to use like super fancy whatevers. And then the last item here is a Zippo lighter. Yeah, it's probably out of fuel. Uh, we use this to burn character sheets because it's a dramatic way to send off your, uh, your dead PCs. And that's it. This setup worked really well for me and my students were extremely into our campaign. My minimalist kit now has changed quite a bit since then. While I am no longer running after school programs, I do sometimes DM at one of my players' homes. And that kit looks a bit more like this. So got a Bluetooth speaker here for music during my game session. Uh, you'll see this is actually a dice box I made. Um, there's just some dwarvish runes on there. It's a little bit of Elder Futh arc, honestly. Uh, you can get this box like already assembled like this at like your local craft store and then just buy a piece of felt and you know hot glue it in there. Um, and then I just stained mine with like a wood stain and did a little wood burning, wood burning runes on it. And here's my dice storage. This is uh, literally one of those camera cases. You can buy this online or from the, uh, the Unholy Empire, we all know. Um, I've got my main dice in here. This is just bags of other dice. These are the main dice I use. I like the big font. Um, this bag just has standard D6s. Uh, this is actually 
coins, two types of coins. One, I use these little dwarvish coins here for uh, hero tokens if you're playing ICRPG or inspiration. I'll pass these out. It's fun to give physical coins to my players. And again, this is a minimalist kit, so I have these like kind of character tokens I'll use to represent different classes. So I think this is like paladin or cleric. This one with the uh, pentagram is a warlock. You could probably guess that's a druid. The harp is a bard. Yeah, so I'll use these to represent character uh, models if I don't have minis. Sometimes we'll use minis. And you'll see I have these like chunks of these skull dice. Um, I first saw some skull dice from Hank and Ferdinand over at Runehammer utilizing these as monsters. I painted some of them red to differentiate between types of enemies. Uh, I love these dice. They are so helpful to just lay them on the battlefield. You've probably seen a couple YouTube shorts of me utilizing these. Uh, super helpful. Purple ones, you know. <laughs> I think this is a D20 from someone in my Magic the Gathering group. I don't know whose it is. If it's yours, sorry it, I have it now, but it's super useful. I love having big spin down D20s. Very helpful. Here's a compass I made from a scrap of leather. Super helpful to plop on the board and tell your players which way is north. This is just an old tin from some dice I bought. Uh, random bits and bobs, the diamond, fire markers, keys. It's fun just handing your players tokens like that. And then I got another one with more fire and bits and pieces. I also got a bunch of index cards in here. Started writing quests um, or like the purpose for players to be doing things. Um, this is for our Strahd campaign and I'll have stat blocks on these too. Index cards are helpful, man. And of course, Sharpie and pen. I'm starting to realize this isn't very minimalist, but whatever. It's what's helpful for me. And then over here, you can see I've got these boards I've made. This is a Ultimate Dungeon Train, super thin profile. I like how light this is. And then this is my newest one, which is the uh, Grass Terrain. I'll put a link showing you how to make that. And I'll just take these two with me, and they're pretty small. And people have asked me about this. This is just a turntable uh, on Amazon. I might put like a link down there, but... Um, maybe it'll be an affiliate link. If you want to buy one of these, it's super helpful to rotate the board and everyone can see it better. Sometimes I bring it, sometimes I forget. It's not a live or die situation. And then lastly, is my backpack. All this will fit inside here and I'll just take this with me along with my laptop to uh, run the game. Yeah. Now my main DM kit looks slightly different from my minimalist one. This kit is quite a bit more bulky and it kind of works better by staying with the rest of my RPG stuff like all behind me. So I tend not to really travel that much with it. But sometimes I do drag it along with me. And that kit looks more like this. Now my main kit includes everything that you saw in my minimalist kit, but I also have this like sterilized box full of a bunch of bits and pieces. Um, I got this from like a local grocery store during the holiday season. I think it's for like holiday ornaments. But you know, extra dice. I used to use these little tea lights to mark turns. Ooh. They were pretty helpful for that. Or I'll use it for like torches. You know, it doesn't need to actually look like a torch. That's fine. And I have all these doors. These doors are great. I wish the bases were a little bit bigger. I might fix these myself. Um, yeah, and then just various minis to use um i'll kind of like before a session figure out what the party might encounter and then just make sure i grab the appropriate minis if i have them painted already uh, for that encounter and just throw them in this box this is literally like a light bulb holder you can see the shapes of the light bulbs just using that to help make it a bit more organized this chaos makes sense to me <laughs> it won't make sense to everybody and this comes off and there's another section underneath for terrain. So there's some 
Jeremy Black Magic Craft uh, pillars I made. He talks about this in his videos. He's super right. I definitely always use these. Um, same with my dungeon walls. Post a link of me making these. This is EVA foam. What I love about the EVA foam is I can just throw these in the box and I don't have to worry about the, the XPS foam getting ruined or anything like that. They're just so durable. Same with these little corners. These things are like so helpful for like setting up the uh, the negative space for a, a dungeon room or something along those lines. Ta-da! Yeah, super great. Um, this is just a piece of XPS foam with some moss from your craft store glued on. You know, I use these as bushes and stuff. And I even have a Jeremy style door here. This is the boss monster door. Pretty still, pretty pretty proud of this thing. This took a while to make, even with the whole lesson. Um, yeah, so aside from that, I'll also bring my giant foam uh, battle mat if we're gonna have a big battle. Uh, that's the wilderness side, and obviously here's the dungeon tile side. You've probably seen this in a couple other videos. Um, this took freaking forever. I don't recommend, <laughs> I don't recommend you do this. Definitely go with something a little smaller. Um, yeah, that's my main kit. Of course, using terrain and painted miniatures is freaking awesome, but you don't need all that stuff to just play the game and have a good time. Sometimes all you need are your dice, some friends, your imagination, and some old backgammon pieces. Ooh. I almost dropped this. Oh, and before you go, please let me know what your minimalist DM kit looks like in the comments. I'm always looking for new ideas. All right, take care.